Tesla CEO Elon Musk hopes to test his robo-taxis in China, but the EV maker is entering a market with some stiff competition. And Eunice Yoon joins us now from Beijing with more. Hey, Eunice. Hey, Joe. Well, tech giant Baidu has a fleet of 500 robo-taxis already in the city of Wuhan. And this week, the company announced that it plans to expand that to 1,000 fully self-driving robo-taxis by, by the end of this year. So we went to Wuhan to find out just what the service is like today. I'm at my hotel in Wuhan, and I'm going out to dinner. And I decided that I'm going to take Baidu's self-driving robo-taxi. You need a special app. But not everyone can ride. A notice pops up and warns, no young children, pregnant women, elderly, the infirm, or anyone with a bad heart. I'm in the right part of town to get the service, but the app says that I need to walk about 100 feet to get to the closest station to board the robo-taxi. The trip costs about $3, and thanks to steep discounts, that's about the same as a regular taxi. We got one, and it's coming in 15 minutes. So here's the robo-taxi, but there's a driver inside. The staffer told us to catch an unmanned cab, we needed to go to another pickup point. Less than half of the taxis still come with safety personnel. We did, and another showed with another assistant. Finally, we got one without a human. Wait, no one is inside except for us. We're on our way, but we're moving kind of slowly, about 30 miles an hour. On China's notoriously chaotic roads, the robo-taxi drove up a ramp, made a U-turn, and negotiated its way around bikers riding tandem oh, whoa. and a timid driver. In an emergency, you press this for help. So it took us a little bit of time, but we finally got here. The Baidu Robo service is 24-7, and it looks like the car is going to go off for another trip. And what we learned is that this is a real experiment because from the time that we first called for an unmanned, uh, an unmanned cab, Joe, it took us four hours before we actually got the cab. But once we were in it, it actually works. Right. right. It, the 500 operating robo-taxis, which you said at the beginning, I was like, that's amazing. Uh, and going to 1,000, it's yeah. not quite um, true. Exactly. Well, no, it is. I mean, is, well, there are some that hours, have these driver assistants. Safety drivers. But, no, I know. It's a work in progress, as yeah. uh, a Baidu executive told me. Uh, but uh, I also thought what was interesting is, you know, what, what happens if you're in there, you have an emergency. So, um, so, so I asked uh, the Baidu executive, you know, what, what do you do in that kind of situation? And they said that you would have to have like kind of the peace of mind to uh, go onto the app and change the destination. So in case you were going to the office and suddenly you had to go to the hospital, you, you would have to just change the destination on the app. Or you could do what I did, which is like you called the SOS button and then a, an agent comes on and they can remotely stop the car for you. And uh, one thing that she said to reassure us is that they have 360 degree cameras both inside and outside of the car. So they are constantly monitoring you for safety purposes. And in fact, at one point, we opened the door accidentally in the, in the cab and um, they told us, please close the door. <laughs> is Elon's technology superior to this right now, you think, Sorkin? The, what he wants to test, or is it all I, the same? And it, it's going to be years till this is really. Go ahead, Yuna. No, 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 no. I was going to just say that, you know, obviously he's not here yet. There is a lot of expectation that uh, Tesla is going to be rolling out robo taxis here and experimenting as well. Uh, there was actually some uh, commentary about that in the state press. Uh, just yesterday, there was an article um, about how Baidu had spoken to some of the local reporters and said that they would be open to the idea of working with Tesla on the robo-taxi, on Tesla's robo-taxi, but um, you know, depending on the progress and the okay. rollout of that robo-taxi, but uh, Baidu wouldn't comment on that hey, report. Eunice, from a technological perspective, those vehicles that you were in, they, they have LIDAR, they have radar, they're using just cameras. This has obviously been one of the big sort of technological questions here in the United States about how, for example, Cruise and Waymo um, produce their cars and what technology they use in Tesla, which is camera only. 
Yeah, so it's obviously not camera only. So my assumption is that it would be LiDAR just because there are now six generations of these cars and Baidu is working with different um, car manufacturers, all local, to be able to uh, bring the price down. In fact, this week they announced the sixth generation of their car and they said that they can now sell it for $28,000 per car, which is uh, less than half of what they were selling the previous generation. So you could see the ways in which uh, Baidu is trying to get ahead and really try to roll this out, um, obviously here in China, but perhaps internationally.